Hey there and welcome to No Rest Pre Required. Today I'm going to do uh, a little riff on one of my favorites, Fettuccine Alfredo, which you can find in kind of the pure recipe on the site, but it's one of those dishes where you can always add in new ingredients, um, really whatever you like, whatever suits your taste. Today we're going to throw a little bit of chicken in there along with broccoli and make it a Fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli and chicken. Not bad. It, uh, it's absolutely delicious. It's easy to make. You can really get it done in probably 20 minutes from the time you get home. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for our broccoli and chicken fettuccine alfredo, what I want to do is show you how to uh, first steam some broccoli. I've got it uh, you know, cut up into maybe kind of a quarter florette there. And I've got about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of water in a uh, pan, boiling water, to which I'm going to add some salt. And then I'm just going to drop those broccoli florets in there and let them, uh, you know, this is essentially steaming. We're going to let this go for um, about five minutes or so, but really the test is going to be the old knife test to see when they are tender. Okay, so after just a few minutes, you can start testing your broccoli. And like I said, you're looking for that nice knife feel. goes in tender. Um, you want a nice al dente, not too, uh, not too cooked through. This is absolutely perfect. Okay, so I dropped my pasta about 10 minutes ago. I steamed my broccoli and then um, ran it under some cold water just to uh, shock it, set the color, and cool it down. And now it's time to start our, our Alfredo sauce. About uh, you know five minutes until the pasta is done. Perfect time to start. We're just going to add some cream to a, uh, to a, uh, a pan here, saute pan and uh, let it come up to the boil and just start reducing. Okay, our pasta is just seconds from being done. So I'm going to get my uh, sauce prepared. I have my, uh, my cream that's reduced down a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Notice I don't need to add it all. I keep a little bit so that I can always add a little bit more, make some adjustments. I've got uh, some chicken that I'm going to add. I've got my broccoli that I steamed and then shocked in cold water. Let's go, uh, let's go drain the pasta as all this comes up to, uh, to, to temperature and we'll come back and add it all together. Okay, so just in the time that it took for my uh, pasta to drain off, uh, my, uh, my vegetables and chicken, or broccoli and chicken, came up to temperature. I'm going to add in my pasta and even the pasta, I may not add it all. You can always find a use for leftover pasta. Let me get, oh, maybe decorate your stove with it like I'm doing. Once it's in there, we're just going to toss everything. The pasta is going to thicken up the sauce. So, uh, you know, if it's thin, don't worry about it. It will easily thicken out in just a minute or so. And if it's too thin, or sorry, if it's too thick, you can always come back in and add just a little bit more cream or even a little reserved pasta water. So I'm just going to let this go. We're going to give it a little bit of a taste. This one can use a little bit more cheese, certainly some more pepper. But then other than that, once it's up to temperature like this, we're, we're good to go. I'm going to go uh, serve this up. Okay, let's go ahead and plate up our fettuccine alfredo with chicken and broccoli. You want to make sure you get that fettuccine piled up in the center of your bowl nice and high. And then the, uh, you know, the chicken sauce and broccoli will have a tendency to kind of float to the bottom, so make sure you dig around and get all those pieces in there. We'll grab a little towel, clean up our plate, make it nice and pretty, and then serve it up. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.